Hello and welcome to episode 10 of my 10 minute transfer series. It's the end of the season, so on today's episode we have the season review and I'll skip forward to the end of the transfer window for us. But first off, let's look at how we did from the last episode. From the last episode we beat Bayern Munich at home 3-2, but it wasn't enough to take us through to the uh, semi-final of the Champions League. After that then we beat Newcastle, we beat Liverpool 2-0 in that crunch title decider. We then beat Burnley, beat Wolves, beat Brighton, beat Leicester, beat Fulham and then smash Webb's Bromwich Albion on the final game of the season. We beat them 8-1. If we see what that means for us then, we won the Premier League in our first season. We won 33 of our games, drew 3 to Chelsea, West Ham and Sheffield United and we lost 2 against Tottenham and Liverpool. We scored 106 and we conceded 18 with a goal difference of 88 and a total point of 102. See how we did it in the other competitions then. Champions League, like I said, we got knocked out of Bayern Munich in the quarter final. It's not too bad though because Bayern Munich did go on to win it. So I'm not too disappointed about losing to the, the future winners of it. The FA Cup, embarrassingly, we got knocked out in the fourth round by Rotherham United. Hopefully we can do better than that next season. Carabao Cup, we got knocked out in the quarterfinals by Tottenham Hotspur. Not too fussed about that competition though. You have a look at how our squad did at the end of the season then. So, most minutes played was David De Gea followed by Harry Maguire, Aaron Wambasaka, Alex Tellers and Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford was our top goal scorer then on 22 goals, followed by Anthony Martial on 20, Edison Cavani on 18, Bruno Fernandes 16 and Mason Greenwood on 16. Harry Maguire couldn't keep up with his goal scoring form, only 13 goals in the season but not bad for a defender centre. Assists then, Aaron Wambasaka has come out of nowhere and taken the top spot for assists. 20 assists for the entire season, 18 in the Premier League. He was followed by Bruno Fernandes on 18, Alex Teller 17, Mason Green with 10, Paul Pogba 8. Playing the matches then, number one was Alex Teller, followed by Harry Maguire, Aaron Wambasaka, Edison Cavani. The tactics next season, I'm going to stick with the same formation. It's been playing well. We only conceded 18 goals for the Premier League. I'm just going to try and improve the squad, get better cover options. I'm happy that the formation's working. Just need better players, really. Have a look at the season review then. So Manchester United's total of 33 matches, one in this season, is a new Premier League record. Manchester United's two losses in a season is a new team low, so that's just a team record. Manchester United's three draws in the season, new team low, another team record. Manchester United's total of 102 points occurred in this season is a new Premier League record. So two Premier League records for us this season. Proof that we won the Premier League. This is quite interesting. I like this. So we were the most quiet and impenetrable team in the league this year. And we were, we were the most clinical, but not the most aggressive. Liverpool were the most aggressive, but sort of where you want to be up in this corner. I like this screen as well. So we're expected to, to score 79.7 goals. We actually scored 106. We're, supposed, we're expected to get 79.7 points. I'm not sure how they're the same, but we actually got 102 and we were expected to come second, but we came first, so we beat our expectations. I'm happy with all that. Let's go to this. So Mane has won the Premier Division Top Goal Scorer Award. He scored 27 in the end. That's great. Marcus Rashford second with 20, followed by Dominic Calvert-Lewin on 19. David De Gea claims English Premier Division Golden Glove. He had 26 clean sheets in 38 games. He only conceded 18. Edison was second on 19 clean sheets. I don't know how that's not a record. I wonder who's done, who's kept more clean sheets than that. He's only conceded in 12 games. That's phenomenal. I won the Premier Division Manager of the Year Award, win percent win ratio 86%. The team of the year then, David De Gea in goal, Alex Tellers on the left, Van Dyke, Harry Maguire, Aaron Mamsak on the right, Sadio Mane, Bruno Fernandes, Kevin De Bruyne, James Milner, Edison Cavani and Marshall. I'm surprised that Cavani is in there and not Rashford considering Rashford scored most of our goals, but oh well. Uh, for the transfers then, the board has given us £154.5 million to use in the transfer market. And we've got £400,000 a week wage budget. But I've calculated the amount of people they're trying to get rid of. There's another five hundred grand we are looking to get rid of. 
uh, for wages and probably another 50 million we've got on top of that so we've got plenty to spend so expect a few incomings i'll now skip to the end of the transfer window i'll see you then here we are then it is the 31st of august and the transfer window is now closed we do have some budget left we have two hundred thousand pound of the wage budget left and one hundred and twenty million pound in the transfer budget left so if you need anyone in january i can always delve into the january transfer window and get someone then but let's have a look at who has come into the squad so the first person who came in was florin torvan from marseille for 50 million he comes in as our new right winger he's on the same level as mason greenwood he's a three star current ability three star potential ability he is 28 so he won't get much better but if we look at what he's like in the inside forward role uh, dribbling 15, finishing 14, first touch 16, technique 16, off the ball 15, acceleration and agility 16, and balance 14, so he's pretty good. He's also got 16 passing and 16 vision, so hopefully he can get a few assists for us. He's already doing quite well in there. Four games played, one goal and four assists, so he's doing not too bad for him starting off. Our second player who came in is Nuno Mendes from Sporting CP for 45 million. He is our new cover in the left back position. We have sold Luke Shaw to Arsenal, I believe it was. He's currently three star ability and potential to be five star. He's only 19 years old. He's a natural fullback attack and he's got very good stats all across the board. He's played two games for us already and has had three assists. I'm looking forward to seeing him progress and may soon overtake Tellers and being our first choice left back. Then we had a man who needed no introduction, Erling Haaland from Borussia Dortmund for 120 million. He is only 21 years old, four star ability, potential to be five star ability. He is a natural advance forward. He has come in to challenge Martial for the top spot. Cavani is still with the club, but Cavani is another year older. He's come in to be probably first, first choice striker. Finishing 18, composure 16, acceleration 15, technique 13, off the ball 18, dribbling and first touch 14. Very good player, he can get better. He's played two games for us, scored three so far. He's doing well, let's hope he lives up to his price tag. Who we also bought, Sergio Ramos from Real Madrid for 8.75 million. He's four star current ability and potential ability. He is 35 years old, but he's come in to... Not replace Harry Maguire, but he is a better player than Maguire, but he is 35, so he's probably going to decline over the next couple of years. He's come into B rotation and probably our main our main centre-back for the big games. He has got great uh, ball-playing defender defensive stats, heading 20, marking 16, passing 16, tackling 18, positioning 13, composure 13, jumping reach 16, strength 16. He's a better player than Harry Maguire. He he is our vice captain as well as one of his recommendations or requests when he came into the club. So he is our vice captain, so I'll be swapping him with Harry Maguire every now and again. Next one is Sandro Tonali from Brescia for 23 million. He comes in as our cover for the defensive midfielder role. We've sold Matic and Fred. We still have Van der Beek, but he's come in to be a understudy to Benton Kerr. He's 21 years old, current three-star bidil a three-star ability, potential four-star ability, deep line playmaker, defender, naturally in the defensive midfielder role, not bad stats, passing 15, vision seven, uh, 16, sorry, work rate 17, teamwork 14, technique 16, first touch 16, 14 com for composure, 13 for decisions, not a bad player, not bad other stats either, so he played two, hasn't assisted any yet, but he's not been playing badly. Hopefully he can get a bit better, but mainly used for a rotation and cover options for Benson Kerr. We then got uh, Dea Upmakano from RB Leipzig for a total of 67 million. He comes in as our cover for David Alaba, 22 years old, currently three star ability, potential four star ability. He's a ball playing defender, but can play ball playing cover. He's got 18 pace, which is fantastic. Um, 17 tackling, 17 marking, passing 13, positioning 12, 12 for concentration, decisions and composure, and 13 for anticipation. Not as good as David Alaba, but as David Alaba gets older, this person will probably take his place. We also bought James Metcalf from Southampton, 650k. 16 year old, this is definitely one for the future. Current one and a half star ability, potential five star ability. Not our first team yet, but potential to be there in the future. Who we got rid of then, we look at last season. So 
Got rid of Sergio Romero to Grimio for 5.25 million. Got rid of Fred to Zenit St. Petersburg, 25.5 million. Daniel James left to Newcastle for 17.5 million. Then this season, we got rid of Luke Shaw to Arsenal for 35 million. Nemanja Matic to Rennes for 9.25. Axel Twenze with Brussels Dortmund for 21.5. Diego Dallo Fiorentina, 11.25. Scott McTominay to Arsenal, 37.5. Andreas Pierre, Shakhtar Donetsk, 27 million in total. Eric Bailly goes to Marseille for 19 million. Jesse Lingard to West Bromwich Albion, 24.5 million. One matter to Mets for 2.7 million. And the rest, Palestri going on loan in the Premier League. Few others going away on loan. The other news then, the Champions League draw has been announced. We have been drawn Roma, C. Copenhagen and RB Salzburg. That is the Champions League draw for us. Let's quickly have a look at who others have. Uh, Real Madrid, relatively easy draw. Chelsea has a hard draw. Atletico Madrid, RB Leipzig, Club, Club Bruges. Uh, Liverpool, pretty easy draw. Man City, not a bad draw. Barcelona, that's pretty hard draw. Lyon, by Leverkusen, Fiorentina. Not a bad draw for Juventus. Borussia Dortmund, Ajax, Senate, St. Peter, Fiera. That's quite a hard group. Ours is a relatively easy group, much easier than last season anyway. This uh, season of uh, this series is going to be a bit different. I'm going to show you mainly the Champions League games this season, starting off probably with Roma home, our main rival in our group. So I'll see you in the next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next episode.